Most Garmin avionics can accept and display Jeppesen terminal charts if you have purchased the chart view enablement. If your aircraft came from the manufacturer with Garmin avionics, you may have purchased the chart view enablement when you bought the aircraft. If not, you must purchase the enablement from the manufacturer. If you retrofit your certified aircraft with Garmin avionics, you must purchase the chart view enablement from your dealer. If you add avionics to an experimental aircraft or add the G3X or G3X Touch to any aircraft, you must purchase the chart view key directly from Garmin. No matter the source, do not lose or use the SD card for other purposes. If you purchase a chart view key from Garmin, you must use the Garmin Aviation Database Manager to load the chart view key. Instructions for that process can be found in the two minute video, How to Enable a Chart View Key Using the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. You can find that video in the Help menu under How To Videos. Once you confirm that your devices can display Jeppesen terminal charts, you must set up an account on the Jeppesen website. Follow the steps found on the Jeppesen website to select and purchase your Jeppesen charts and databases. After obtaining a Jeppesen account, you can load, update, and purchase subscriptions through the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. If you plan on purchasing all your Jeppesen charts and databases solely from Jeppesen, you can load them using the Jeppesen Distribution Manager. Your third option is to load the charts via the Flightstream 510 device in combination with Garmin Pilot. The remainder of this video focuses on downloading the Jeppesen charts using the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. First, download the free Garmin Aviation Database Manager application for Windows or Mac from the Fly Garmin website. Next, open the Garmin Aviation Database Manager to the dashboard and select Update Reinstall. That will open the Install Database Updates page. At the bottom of the database list, you will find Jeppesen Charts. To load the Jeppesen Charts, select the white box in front of the listing. Notice that Navigation Data, Obstacles, and Safe Taxi can also be updated to the next cycle, so all selections will be processed at the same time. If you need to buy Jeppesen Charts or otherwise manage your Jeppesen subscription, click More Info. Links in the pop-up menu will direct you to your account at Jeppesen. After selecting Jeppesen Charts and other databases, select Continue. A login to your Jeppesen account will appear. Notice the menu specific for your device appears in the upper left. Follow that menu to track your progress through the download. Enter your credentials and select Login. A license agreement may appear. You must agree to the terms and select Continue to reach this Jeppesen service selection page. Notice the checklist in the upper left directs you to select Jeppesen charts. Select the appropriate subscription for the avionics being updated, then select Continue. The Jeppesen Chart Geographic Area Selection page will appear. You likely want the entire coverage area you purchased, so click the circle before Select Entire Coverage Area. It may be pre-checked since it is the default. Then select Continue to move to the next step. If you want to select a smaller area of your purchased charts, click on the circle in front of Select Subset of the Coverage Area. This page will appear with a yellow movable box. Place your cursor over a corner of the box to shrink or expand the area for which you want charts. After you outlined your area, select Continue. When you insert your SD card into your computer, the drive will appear. Click on the white circle to activate the drive. Select Continue to start loading the databases onto your media. The Downloading and Installing Databases page shows the progress of the download. 
Once the databases are loaded onto your SD card, this summary page will appear. Select Done to remove your SD card. It is ready to be loaded into the avionics of your aircraft. This provides the basics of loading Jeppesen charts into Garmin Avionics. If you need information on other topics concerning the Garmin Aviation Database Manager, check out our videos available through the Help menu.